Check out this video uh, about a young lady who's living in Africa right now and her experiences and some of the things that she's noticed with women who go to Africa or women who are wanting to date in Africa. Sis, this is ironic. Y'all should go back to the video, Would You um, Date or Marry a Gambian Man? Go back to that video where I interviewed like the 22-year-old beach guy out there and I saw the comments. Just look at those comments. Some of the sisters... We're saying, I could rock with it. I could work with him. I mean, y'all were giving him a lot of praise. And I'm not saying you shouldn't have or should have. I was just really t impressed by how you guys were willing to give this brother a shot. And he showed you his living quarters. Like, he showed you that he was living and sleeping in a tent outside, cooking on the rocks, in the wood. And I had a sister say, I can fix it up and make it nice. And I was like, wow. <laughs> But let that have been a brother in the States. If a brother in the States ain't even got a car, the sister's not even checking for him, no education. What? Go ahead, tell me, because, you know, I didn't want to just yeah, this, not you know, mention my that. House where I live. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This where you bring the ladies? <laughs> this where you bring your girlfriend? Yeah, baby girlfriend, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. ladies, he telling y'all yeah. where y'all gonna be hanging out. <laughs> African house. <laughs> African house. Yeah. So you take a lady back here on a date? No lady on a date. How do you how do you take a lady on a date here? Where would you take her? Like what? Where would you take her? Where would you go? No, just when I bring lady, you know, we can have a chatting, you know. You can chat, okay. Yeah, only that, you know. You gonna chat in here? Mm. You gonna bring her back here and chat? Yeah, chat, you know, sometimes. Okay, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I'm just asking questions, you know, because the ladies want to know. <laughs> what they what they gonna look forward to? What they got to look forward to when they come out here now? You know. Um, now this is where y'all gonna be hanging out and stuff, honey. He gonna cook you some fish over there. Yeah. Let you see how? Well, you know when you cook, you know. Okay. Yeah. He said he got flowers for yeah. you. Flowers for uh, you. I'm gonna push back a little bit here. I think we often mix up the comment section of videos and uh, social media with reality. The reality of it is a good looking dude in America with absolutely no money is going to be able to get a lot of the same women as that guy from Gambia. I mean, <laughs> women are, of course, they're going to say, oh, I need a man with six figures and all that kind of stuff. But you see... Good looking dudes walking around smashing no matter what their situation is. There are women who make six figures who are dating a dude that's in jail right now. I know. I used to work in the jail. So <laughs> the lawyers date dudes in jail and all of that. Um, it, so it, I think a lot of times we look at something and we say, okay, this is what people say out loud with their mouth and not what's really happening. Most dudes who are struggling to get women are not struggling because they don't have money. They're struggling because they're not physically attractive to those women not attractive enough or they also may not have any game or have the ability to talk to women in a way that makes them want to do something that's not necessarily in their financial best interest so if you're dealing with a woman and women you know this if we're just being real and, and, I, and i'm saying this i'm saying this in the defense of these women a woman is gonna make it and when she talks about an abstract man that doesn't really exist or somebody that she would date, she's just going to name all the good things in life. And that's going to be like her baseline. Yo, if he don't have this, 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 and this, I wouldn't date him. But in reality, if a woman meets somebody and that person makes them have an emotional connection, the emotional connection is always going to override the mental standards or the intellectual um the, the inter intellectual parameters that they have for a relationship, period. A woman is always going to choose, and, and a man will too. If you like somebody enough, the things that you got, the little rules you don't put out there, you're going to break 99% of them for somebody you like. Yeah, you could get in the comment section and say you won't, but that person is not in front of you right now. It's easy to say that when the person's not in front of you. So, yeah, they in the comments section, oh, girl, I could work with him and all that kind of stuff. They might get over there to Africa and feel differently, you know, when, when they're actually in person with them. A lot of these women that's out here talking about, I wouldn't date somebody who didn't make this and didn't make that. 
they're saying that because they have done that multiple times in the past and they will do it again. So, you know, I understand that it's easy to look at what they're saying in the comment section. Say, oh, y'all won't date no broke man here. And you hear a lot of guys complaining online. No, all women care about is money. Well, normally they're just not physically attracted to you. That's why they care about money because they, they're using that in lieu of what they really wanted. Or you don't really have like the swag in the game to make them feel that bubbles in their stomach and all that kind of stuff, the butterflies. You're not giving them that. So instead of that, they want financial security. But in real life, people don't choose based on those type of things. They choose based on whatever their heart and their emotions tell them. And these women just got online and said what they want to say. But the reality is they'll do the same thing here in America.